Hi everybody, my name is Ricardo Sai. I'm a brand photographer and creative producer. I'm here with uh, Andy Marshall, uh, who is the founder of Horizon Design Consultancy. Uh, so Andy, why don't you introduce yourself and you tell us, tell us a bit more about what you do? Yes, okay. Well, I was uh, started off as a graphic designer about 25 years ago and eventually uh, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, became creative director and I moved around lots of top London agencies. Um, and recently I just thought, right, okay, you've learned a lot working in small teams, bigger teams, and it's time to launch your own business. And the purpose of my business is to help brands to communicate with their customers a lot better and internally a lot better as well. So it's sort of helping them to gain more traction and identify really why they exist. Um, thank you. Thank you for, for sharing your, your story. Um, so we, when we chatted a few days ago about uh, uh, this espresso, which I'm, I'm really glad to have with you. I hope you like coffees because uh, being Italian for me, coffees is everything. And, uh, uh, but we discussed about the topic to cover today on this video. And uh, we uh, both agree that um, the theme of the day will be transform your pr proposition, your brand proposition. So, um, so I just want to ask you, so what do we mean with, uh, with brand proposition, first of all? Well, the brand proposition really boils down to why a company is in existence. Um, it's the truth behind the company. Uh, so say if you were down the pub with somebody that owned a company and you said, so what does your company do? And if they could sum that up in a sentence and it really is what they're all about, then that is essentially what the proposition is. Uh, it's not always entirely accurate. When you delve a lot deeper, you can actually extrapolate from them what the real proposition is but it's it's where, where they're going with it what the brand means to people their customers and internally um so that leads to uh my question which is uh, how does a uh, um storytelling links to a brand proposition well that's exactly it um when you boil down to why companies are in existence in the first place uh, quite often it reveals something so uh, you you might get to a company that's uh, right I went into business because I wanted to uh, help um, a certain sector or you know help children develop um, for example then that really becomes the reason why you're in existence now with that is always a story as well now you may think right okay so that's what you wanted to do why did you want to do that and then people say well as i was growing up as a child i needed help so therefore i thought it was time for me then to help children with my company so that then illustrates that the power of the brand story the narrative behind it as to how you've arrived at where you are thank you thank you andy uh, so i so we are well, we're still in the thick of it, but we're still in the middle of a global pandemic. So I'm, and and I know you've been dealing with uh, quite a few brands really who uh, recently who have been restructuring themselves, rebranding themselves, and and trying to face uh, this pandemic in, uh, um, in in different ways. So I just wanted to ask you more about. So how how does the pandemic affected? Uh, um, and effectively transform uh, the, uh, this brand's proposition. So, and how can a brand really transform their uh, uh, proposition in these current times? Well, it has to really, because we're at a time where everything is transforming. Customers are changing. Uh, people that are, work at companies are changing. For example, they're working more at home. There's been a real regress with people establishing what their life work balance should all be about. And I think a company would have developed something like a company culture. And the main thing is that culture has to have changed because it's there for the uh, people that work there as well. And when they come back, they're completely different people now. You know, they, they realize that they can also work at home. They need other people to talk to. Uh, work has become a lot more efficient as well. So it, it really has changed quite a lot. Um, and I think that that change is something that is sort of happening with customers too. 
the way, for example, retail, if you look at the way retail has changed over the past five years, high streets have suffered really badly and people are shopping completely differently. Um, and gone are the days where you think, oh, I need this, where can I get it from? You know that you can just get it the next day on online. Uh, it's easy like that. So everything has completely changed. And with that, brands need to change as well. So customers' expectations are different and internally or the employees, diff uh, their perspective on business has changed as well. So a brand must revolve around these things because that's what they're here to serve. That's, that's very interesting. I, I, it's interesting because I was about to ask you about customers and, and you already answered about that because of course, you know, if uh, brands are changing, but because customers are changing as well. So it's uh, uh, very, very interesting. And so and how can an entrepreneur or, or a brand uh, really uh, transform their proposition uh, in this current time? How can they, if you got any tips or how, how can they, how can you even start changing your proposition? Well, your proposition would probably need to change because like I say, the market is changing. Most importantly, the customers are changing and you need to sort of really realize who your target audience is and appeal directly to them in the best way. Um, so new entrepreneurs that are starting up, there's a great opportunity for um, innovation these days. Uh, the fact that office space has been reduced um, People are looking for more, uh, I think it's become London, for example, has become more cultural than it ever has been. And these are things that provide opportunities for people. And the customers also uh, are looking to their relationship with a brand is now different. Uh, brand loyalty has become such a powerful thing. The, the people that, um, the customers really now become advocates of the brand. And that needs to be uh, thought about when you're appealing to your customers. You know, they walk away and they'll come back to you if you've got the right brand in place. So it really does change uh, quite a lot. Do you think there's a there's more um, there's more awareness about uh, the impact that your um, your uh, 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 the way you do your shopping and the way what kind of products you you buy uh, do you think that has changed and also uh, are customers more aware of uh, the impact of their shopping you know whatever they buy whatever whatever product they buy i mean do you think that has changed in a way you know so is there more awareness about uh, uh, the ethical and sustainable impact of uh, of, uh, of, um, of of any products that you buy i mean what do you think about that well, absolutely. Uh, if you look at what's happened with plastic bags in this country, and now they're seen as a bad thing. And I think people carry their bags with them now. And if they're going shopping, instead of it, it seems like a crime if you're paying to, for another plastic bag. Uh, so, so I think there is more um, sort of uh, responsibility. I think. Um, and also, there is a sort of uh, social responsibility with brands that comes you know they have to do good uh, within uh, the, the, the people that they serve uh, if you look at companies that don't look after their staff they have a bad rep I mean just think what certain things have happened like VW being based um, in China uh, near those those camps the concentration camps that they've got uh, it's really damaged the brand so there's a lot of damage can be done if you're not thinking about the long term and how how it affects what your customers will perceive you as. I think brands have got a big responsibility and they become more aware of that. Uh, and I think that probably uh, has changed during the pandemic. Uh, um, and uh, uh, but I, I just wanted to ask you more about uh, uh, authenticity as well because you you, you talked before about uh, um you know how to transform your proposition i mean do you think there's more there's more an appetite for uh, an authentic uh, uh, connection with uh, with brands yeah it's definitely something that's becoming more and more relevant um it's i think people need to people really care about the source of something and where it comes from 
so you know where where something is made for example you need to know that it's it's come locally because a lot of people now are shopping locally and they want to support their local community a lot more so that has a lot more power um and you know i, I think there's this the, the, the truth behind brands as well really matters because if you just have a facade for a brand that is just painted on and people realize oh that's not what they're really like um this when i found out about this brand it doesn't really they say they're all this but they're not that it's so damaging to the brand if it can live by those values and say right this is not our facade this is our brand truth this is why we exist and the customers can understand that and get to the heart of it that then creates the brand advocate and the success that you need moving forward long-term relationships are built on that and not distrust which is the one thing that brands that don't really resonate with customers have in, you know they've got it totally thank you andy so it, it it really makes me think also about the the power of storytelling i think you know perhaps now more than before there is a need for to 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 retell uh, the brand stories and as you said before you know uh, to transform the the brand proposition and i think is a um, so brands need to communicate in a different way they need to change they have to change their narrative but they need to communicate and to tell a different stories uh, um you know from now on because you know the world has the world has changed so the the global story <laughs> has changed so the brand kind of they have to reflect that and uh, so it's I, I find that very very interesting andy so uh, but anyway i am conscious of time so it's been a lovely chat about uh, um about uh, uh, brand uh, proposition um, pandemic and everything so uh, i hope you enjoy the coffee and uh, and it was a good um, virtual italian coffee and um, yeah so thank you for watching and i'll see you very soon thank you andy okay thanks ricardo cheers bye